Hello everyone and welcome to my VIP Kid Classroom. Today, as you can see from the title, we will be learning about science, but also reading and reading strategies to become better readers. We will be using word study um, to help us become a better reader to learn sight words and to remind ourselves about breaking words into parts like clapping out syllables so that when we come across words we don't know, we have strategies to figure out the meaning and what the word says. Today's book, as we continue to learn about the life cycle of animals, is A Butterfly is Born. Before we get into this book, let's go to the back for some of our word study. This is an index, which really is a list of words that we would find in the text and exactly where to find them by page number. So some of the words we would need to be able to read and understand would be butterfly. I've heard that word before. I see the clue of the picture. Caterpillar, eating, flowers, flying, hard shell. Hmm, what would that be referring to? Hard shell is not on the butterfly, but it could be a part of the butterfly's life cycle. Leaves, nectar, pupa, tongues, and wings. So since this book is nonfiction, you more than likely will find an index in the back. So keep that in your pocket for a strategy of when you're reading nonfiction books before you start. You can flip through the pictures, take a picture walk, but also check out the index. And if you come across some words that are difficult for you, Use those word strategies to break them apart. Ask a partner, a reading partner, to work through those words with you. And also, go to the page number described and see if the words might make more sense if you look in the context of that whole page. So I have four sight words for us before we get into this book and one long word. The first sight word is look. Let's play a little game. What's missing? Okay. What's missing now? Okay. L -O -O -K is look. All right, next sight word. Are you ready? <laughs> it's five letters. So it comes next to the word look. There, meaning ownership. That is their classroom. All right, a little game. What's missing? TH, which makes one sound. Ugh. All right, next sight word, four letters long. Is it? Many. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little game. This is like level three right now. What's missing? A N Y. So, mm, any, many. And the last one, another four letter word is. Whoosh, some, not some, not same, some. When you look at this word, your goal is to read it without sounding it out because the sounds don't make a lot of sense, do they? And the E is missing, it's the silent E. Last on the back, let me write one long word that I found when I was previewing our book today. Ready? Happening. Let's play another game of what's missing. Mm -hmm. The ing, which is a suffix that says ing. Why don't we try the strategy of clapping out this word? Pretend that you're reading the book. You see this word. You're not sure what it means. We're not to say it. Well, we'll try to clap it out. 
happening. If you write this word down on a piece of paper next to you from home, can you underline what we just clapped out? You should have three separate chunks underlined. Remember, we sounded out happening. And that is one way to chunk this word. And now we are ready to read The Butterfly is Born. At the front, it's not an index, that's at the back. At the front is a table of contents. For example, on page four, we would learn about the egg stage. Butterflies are beautiful insects. They fly from flower to flower, drinking nectar with their long tongues. So the picture blue tells me nectar comes from flowers. If they're drinking it, it's some kind of a food or something that gives them energy. So that's how I figured out nectar. But a butterfly doesn't always look this way. A butterfly begins life as a tiny egg. The egg hatches in a few days. Out comes a caterpillar. The young caterpillar is very hungry. It eats its eggshell. Then it starts to eat leaves. It eats many, many leaves. The caterpillar eats and grows, eats and grows. Look how big this caterpillar has grown. Now the caterpillar is ready to change. It hangs from a branch. Slowly the caterpillar turns into a pupa. It forms a hard shell. And that's one thing that's different from this book to our last one. The last one gave us the vocabulary word of what we call that hard shell, chrysalis. This one does not. So in this stage, the caterpillar is not an egg, it's a pupa. From outside, the pupa looks very still, but inside, much is going on. Can you see what is happening to the pupa? Now that's just amazing. It's kind of bad with this lighting, but you can see the butterfly colors forming inside. It is better in this picture, for sure. <laughs> wow. After some time, out comes a butterfly. The butterfly's wings are wet and crumpled. And when I read that word crumpled, it did remind me of this book. And when I go to page 24, I read, our butterfly is damp and crumpled. So I just thought it was neat. They both used the exact same word. But in a few hours, they dry and fill out. So that's an even better picture of crumpled and then being dry and ready to go. Now the butterfly's wings are strong. The butterfly can fly. Where do you think this butterfly is going? Respond in the comments below. What is one other thing that you remember being the same from this book to this book. My example of something being the same was describing how the butterflies emerge from the chrysalis with crumpled wings. And remember, you could comment with one thing that is different. For example, this book did not use the words chrysalis specifically. This one did. So check out our previous video. Maybe rewatch it if you need to in order to answer those questions. All right, I will keep you guys posted on some other fun butterfly and life cycle activities that you can do during the week to continue your learning. And we'll end the week with a craftivity. Woohoo! Everybody loves crafts. <laughs> Bye, guys. I will see you soon.